Disclaimer, this video is not meant to be taken seriously. Most of these shared are not how I truly feel about the game. So please don't hit me on the head with a hammer, which would most likely cause paralysis and at the bare minimum or break my neck and leaving me crying for eternity. Okay. I said okay. Get that Christmas tree show off you pal. It's the middle of summer. Is this Spike's deformed dad or something? Luigi dressing up as Princess Peach. I have no idea whether to hate or love this. I have no idea why in Fawful's last battle they make him look like a ballerina. Why does Balletta have breasts? Seriously. Seriously. Oh my god, the difficulty starts spiking up like crazy when you start fighting Cacletta's soul. Most of the game was ridiculously easy, and then this final battle is so dang hard that you might rage quit and snap your Game Boy Advance in half because of it. What the heck is this game's obsession with beans? You go to Bean Bean Kingdom, you fight beans, you collect beans, you drink beans. What are you gonna do next? Are you gonna put the beans in the mustache or something? Oh look, it's Princess Fiona from Shrek. Except a hundred times more hideous. Bowser has been in the middle of an exploding planet, gets hit by rocks 10 billion times, falls down from a thousand foot fall like also 10 billion times, and still remembers how to capture a princess. But in this game, he gets shot out of a cannon and gets amnesia. Okay. Come on, Mario and Luigi. Instead of attacking the Jello monster, why not just eat it? I'm sure it tastes delicious. So you're telling me that this thing can create black holes? And shoot lightning from whatever she pleases? Well, I mean, there certainly is a hell spawn if I've ever seen one. Dear God, this music. Ugh! What's Aerodactyl doing in my Mario and Luigi game? It's really cool that the viruses from Dr. Mario are here, but when you're trying to get all three of them the same color, it could be annoying to deal with. Not only are all the Kooplings stupid easy, but none of them even have any distinct personalities. All their personalities are portrayed as exactly the same. Just this. You have to fight Popple three different times. Twice with Rookie and another time with Birdo. Why is Birdo even fighting you anyway? Also, why does Birdo want to make out with Popple so badly? It, it's really creepy and weird. This. Not only is everything based around beans, but everything is also green. Man, this must be Earth Day's new favorite game. Wait a minute, I didn't know I was playing Metroid. I really like how Bowser's just left to die even though he didn't do anything wrong. Heck, he was trying to help them and then he they just let him die. Also breaking the fourth wall, literally. Oh look, what a nice little Mars Sunshine reference. How in the world did Bowser even get in there anyway? His, his castle was sunk. Bro, I do not want to get my picture taken under any circumstance. Mm -mm. Nah, this. The fact that these are the coolest Mario characters ever, yet we only see them here and never see them in any game ever again. I demand they be brought back in any future game. Splash Bros has nothing to do with splashing. It's literally just done jumping. If you really want to do Splash Bros, just be like Magikarp. It's fairly simple. I do not like what these girls are doing to this hermit crab. Also, you cannot tell me that these things do not look like Flurry from Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Even Mario and Luigi series is, is teasing us. This freaking maze. Oh, Toad, you freaking pervert. The fact that Mario just runs out of his house naked and tangles up Luigi in rope. The fact that this is the last game we ever got to see Gino in. Oh, and also, Gino! This. The fact that they make us think Mario's dead here. Luigi moves so slow. Pick it up, pal. So apparently all you need to do in order to get electric powers it's a touch an electric orb. Okay, video's canceled. I'll be right back after I go touch an electric orb. Bye. So in conclusion, I give the game an eight out of 10. I had fun with it. It's certainly not my favorite Mario and Luigi game, but no, I had, I had fun with it. It was enjoyable. The, the, gameplay, the gameplay was fun. The comedy is golden. Uh, like it was comedy Fortnite. It, 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 was, it was just good. No, not Fortnite, Fortnite. I just had a really good time with it. It's not my favorite in the Mario and Luigi series, but it certainly is a good time. But can I just say one thing though? Why was this ported to the 3DS and not on the Switch?